the jet powered update is here and this is good news for everybody because it's completely compatible with your existing save files. If you're wondering what's new and what you can do with the new items, you are in the right place. If you don't want to miss out on my weekly Astroneer videos, subscribe now. Let's get it started. The first big leak was this. It's not a toilet seat, nor a rice cooker, it's the coolest vehicle yet in the game. Ladies and gentlemen, the hoverboard. With this crazy vehicle you can glide over the terrain and you should definitely pair it with a jump jet or a jetpack. Put it in your backpack and use it anytime you want to bother the neighbors with your new skateboard. It requires one unit of power per second and you can basically do anything you can do on foot. You can use your terrain tool, you can grab tire to objects, including the winch, and drag all kind of stuff around. But remember that you can take damage on it and even die. Be careful, it's an extreme sport after all. To craft this, you are only gonna need one exo chip, but we're gonna talk more about that later. You can print it with your backpack, oxygen not included. What can you do with it? You mean, apart from being super cool? Well, you can challenge your friends with some silver surfer tricks. But until you get used to it, be careful not to get stuck in the soil. You could make a race track, or go to the local skate park and pretend you're Tony Hawk. Smash the like button now if you think the hoverboard is super cool. But wait, did you say that you would like more flying options in Astroneer? Don't say anything more. Here's the VTOL. Only cool guys can get this vehicle. In fact, VTOL stands for Vehicle to Overlook Losers. You cannot stick this in your backpack for obvious reasons, but on the other hand, you can park it even in downtown thanks to its ability to take off and land vertically. It runs on hydrogen and it has got a meter to tell you how much is left. It also offers you a lot of storage, two medium slots and two small auxiliary slots at the side that can be activated remotely. The recipe for this delicacy is one exo chip, one tungsten carbide and one silicon. It flies at different speeds depending on how close you are to the ground. It will run slowly when closer to the ground and faster when up in the air. If you were thinking of going to the solo using this, you should know that it's got the same high limit as other vehicles like jetpacks. But what can you do with this? You can use it to supervise your territory and look for resources, be hired at parties and launch fireworks, or play nunchakus with a couple of winches. Both the hoverboard and the VTOL need exo chips to be crafted. This is a new resource, but it does not grow overnight like organic. You will find it in a couple of ways, but mainly inside these boxes called exocache. You can winch them or even pack them up. I never go around without some dynamite in my pocket, so it won't be a problem to open these treasure chests. Exochips are not compatible with canisters, but it won't be hard to find them either, so keep them on your radar. What can you do with it? Many recipes were updated, so you are going to need this resource to make many of the late game items. Exodynamics understood that it's hard to live alone on a planet, so they have kindly provided us with pay TV. It's called Matt, but it's not a carpet, and you can find it on Desolo and Versenia with a nice icon that can be seen from the shadow. Hey mate! What can you do with it? New missions are directly related to the MAT. It will be essential to unlock the new vehicles. In fact, MAT stands for Man, I'm tired of bringing resources to you. Just give me the rewards. But don't worry, the MAT will reward you very generously. So try to be nice. Are you tired of walking on unleveled ground? Good news, the leveling block has made its way into adventure mode. Print it from your backpack at a cost of only one full small soil canister. It works exactly like in creative mode, but with limited use, only 10. You may have to print a few of these if you're trying to build a castle. What can you do with it? 
use it to bring perfect flat in your adventure world. At least you will not have to travel to a gate engine anymore to make real flat in your world. Very flattering. What are some other things you should be aware of? First, if you love Astroneer, consider subscribing to my channel because I'm uploading weekly. The narrow mode is more precise, allowing for clinical sculpting. The loots in the game were overhauled to make exploration more rewarding. Vehicle headlights now work better and Debbie's scrap value has overall been increased. If you hover over shuttles and thrusters, they're now gonna tell you how much fuel and lunches are left. Good news, now the probe scanner can find probes you had already interacted with, bad news, you cannot winch them, so... And there is a new costume and much stuff in the store, so make sure to check it out. These were the main points, but you will find the complete patch note in the description of the video. Stay tuned and stay safe.